Garnacho is literally falling down the same rabbit hole which every single young Man United player has fallen under. Every single one of them. And and it's this dirty, dirty habit this club has. Bro, the guys in the top top four shirt sellers at the club, um, that's the reason why he's playing, bro. Like, rejection of an Anthony Alanga, because at least Anthony Alanga, yeah, is an elite athlete in terms of his athleticism. This Brer ain't got the athleticism, yeah, to get past the level he's at. You're 19, but you're not the complete package. Mm. You still need to work on your game. You still need to prioritize improving your overall game. Just be, like here's the problem: just because you start for Man United, it doesn't mean you're good. If you start mm -hmm. for Manchester City, you're good. In which I realize with um, Marcus Rashford, yeah, is that whether people like it or not, yeah, Marcus Rashford is a is a 15 goals in all competitions player. That's what he is, you know. But like, bro, this is what he is. But people have it in their head that he's meant to be more than that, Hajj. He's not. He's a 10 Premier League goals a season player. Like, like I said in 2019, he's a Crystal Palace player. Bro, like I tell people all the time, we only talk about the age of footballers when they're not good. That's the only time we speak, we speak about their age, bro. Because when Wayne Rooney was 18, bro, and he made his debut for Man United and scored a hat-trick in the Champions League, no one was talking about his age, bro. People only talk about the age of players when they're not performing, bro. Because even Kobe Minor, I don't care about his age. He's a good footballer, but he's still got a lot to learn, bro. He's still got a lot to learn. I can still see where he needs to improve, yeah? But I'm not looking at him and saying it's because he's 18. It's got nothing to do with his age, bro. At the end of the day, yeah, there's certain things that he needs to develop on. And if he does develop on it, he'll turn into a top, top, top player. If he doesn't, and he's just the level he is now, yeah, in three or four years, it's going to be a worry because he'll be a good player, but he'll never be the player that's going to start for Man United week in, week out, unless there's certain holes in his game that he covers. Do you know what I'm saying? People can talk about coaching and stuff like that. People overestimate how much coaching improves players, bro. After a certain age, coaching doesn't improve players. If you put certain players in a certain system, you can hide their deficiencies. But players don't tend to improve that much. Like, Hadj, who's the last player yeah, that, that you've seen, yeah, that was absolutely shit, yeah, and turned into, and, and turned into a good player? It doesn't happen, bro. It doesn't happen, yeah. bro. It's yeah, rare. it does. It doesn't happen, bro. I'll be honest. Even with managers, like yeah. when when it goes sideways for managers, it's very hard. I haven't seen many managers where it's gone sideways and then they've turned it around. Like it's that's that's what it is. But with Garnacho, I'll, I'll be real. Like I've I've got time for Garnacho, but as of late, I have said like in the past one two months, I've been like Garnacho is literally falling down the same rabbit hole which every single young Man United player has fallen under. Every single one of them. And and it's this dirty, dirty habit this club has, which is because I've already called it. Everybody thinks we're gonna we're gonna sign a, a right winger in the summer. Mm -hmm. I was like, fam, I'll be honest with you guys. If Garnacho puts up one, two, three good more performances from now to the end of the season, the club will look at him and be like, say, if you're the long term right winger, because A, you can save more money. You don't you don't need to spend, bro. He's from the academy. You don't need to sell spend. shirts, bro. Like, bro, the guys in the top top four shirt sellers at the club um that's the reason why he's playing bro like i'll be real that's the reason why he's playing because the thing is yeah you see in football if someone ain't got technical abilities yeah but then they've got the athleticism i don't mind this prayer ain't got elite athlete genetics bro this bread is about seven stone yeah in timberland boots bruv he's lightweight he's weak and he's not fast bro so he don't even have, yeah, he doesn't even have the projection of an Anthony Alanga because at least Anthony Alanga, yeah, is an elite athlete in terms of his athleticism. This Brer ain't got the athleticism, yeah, to get past the level he's at because he doesn't have the technical ability. If you've got mad technical ability, but you're not an athlete, you can kind of get away with it. You can't get away of being so limited technically, yeah, when you're not an athlete. You can't get away with it. Imagine if players like Lukaku yeah, never had pace and strength, where he would be, bro.
His athleticism gave him a whole career. There's loads of football players like that that don't have the technical ability, but they're, they're freakish athletes. He's not athletic enough. And the thing is, he's 19, bro. He's not going to grow much more. He's not going to grow much more. When he's 23, he's going to be the same build. And then he's 24 years old. He just turned 24. Look at, he's a little skinny man. He's not getting no bigger than that. What he's got now is what he's got for the rest of his career. That's what he's got. So again, look at Scott McTominay. If he wasn't six foot four and have and have a decent build, bro, he doesn't have a career at Man United. He doesn't have one. So when I'm looking at his physical attributes and his technical attributes, people are crazy if they think this guy's going to improve. He's not going to get no better, bruv. He's not going to get no better, bro. He's nearly 20 years old. He won't improve. All this stuff are better coaching, better coaching. No. Arsene Wenger's been telling people, post 14 years old, footballers don't really improve that much technically. It's only the tactical side of the game and the understanding of the game. And he's a footballer that plays with his head down. He's not an intelligent player. And you don't develop that side of your game. You'll know that, Hajj. Look at Rashford. He's 27 um, this year. Or I think he's 27 this year. He hasn't improved a day in his life in terms of decision-making and the, and the tactical and the understanding of this game. And he's played thousands of games in the Premier League. If that's your style, instinctive head down, that will be your style forever. Mm. You know, it's, I, I agree with that. But I've, I've always said with Garnacho, like for me, I've always said Garnacho's ceiling, like what he can be for Man United, is very similar to what Martinelli is for Arsenal. Because but without the pace, though. Martinelli's another one that like, I look at and think, technically, are you that good? Mm, nah, not really. Like, you do rely on your physicality. But like, even then, like, when I look at him, I'm like, the one thing that I'd give prop to Martinelli is, I feel like, his movement in the final third, he's definitely nailed that on in the past mm -hmm. Year and a half, and he's just learned how to put the ball into the back of the net. Now, is he the most diverse of players? No, not really. There's one way to use him. If you don't use him that way, mm. he puts up a season similar to this year's. Because the way mm. Arteta used him last year is very different to the way he's using him this year. And it's no surprise, the guy put up like, what, 15 goals last year. This year, mm. he's on like five. So with, with Garnacho, he's just... The problem is with Garnacho, and this is a problem for any other young player that we sign. Mm. He's coming to the team. Last year, for me, off the bench, he done well. Came off the bench, he had an impact. Fair enough. Tired legs, this and that. He started, he, he was starting the occasional game. Like maybe once every one, two months, this and that. Done well, of course, fatigued as the game went on. And I was watching him and I was like, listen, you know what? You just need to master what you're good at. So if you want to take on your man for sheer pace, if you want to just have that burst and acceleration, you need to work on that, prioritise that, because that's what you're going to be known for. Mm. The problem is, is that I now look at Garnacho and just see a very comfortable kid. And that is the problem that Rashford had at 18. That is the problem that so many players have had at Man United, which is they pop onto the scene at 18, 19. Like you said, shirts, they start getting all the media attention. The, the sponsorships, like people making the comparisons, rare tete, -te. now you're looking at yourself thinking, yo, I'm 19 and I've achieved it all. Like this is, like, let's be real. Some man that maybe only at the age of 27, 28 start to get this attention and the brand deals and like people start to know who they are. If yeah, like Oli Watkins, for example. Mm. He's getting all the plaudits now, now, but he's had to grind for this. He He's getting his flowers now, but it's like, when you give a kid too much so early, it mm. destroys them. And I've never, ever seen it go the opposite way, you, where you've given a kid so much at such a young age, but they still, they're still mature enough. No, and unless they're good. Much. Unless they're good. Do you know what I'm saying? Because Rooney was fine. Owen was fine. Do you know what I mean? The top players are fine. The top players, like, if you're good enough, you're old enough, is the saying. The problem is, when players aren't good enough and they get the opportunity... Their head goes, bro. He's not mm. good enough. Because even the Martinelli comparisons, Martinelli is a better striker of the ball than Garnacho. Way better finisher. Like, he's got that open up the body, wrap to the back post thing, almost, he's almost got it down patterned, bro. And also, he's a lot faster than him as well. So, Martinelli's got the pace. 
And also he's got the defensive work rate as well. And he's stronger, bro. He's just a better athlete and a better footballer. So I know what you mean in terms of stylistic. They're both head down players. But Martinelli has the intangibles, which is the athleticism that Garnacho doesn't have. This is why he doesn't make it. This is why he doesn't make it. The modern game, yeah, is an athlete's game, whether you like it or not. Do you know what I mean? It is. The reason why Doku's at Man City is because he's got pace. It's not because he's a good footballer. He's awful. But he's actually got a turn of pace and he's physically strong as well. Like he's physically stronger than Sterling was. So it's one of them ones where if you don't have the athleticism in the modern game, you have to be a special footballer, Had You can't get away with it. You can't get away with it because the pace of the game is different and the physicality of the game is different. So if you're not athletic, you need to be exceptional. You have to be. Mm. Now, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, with him this season, like last season for me, as well as it sounds, I think last season he was better than this season. Because he was playing 15 minutes at a time, mm. bro, and he was coming on against tired legs. Mm, that's no, all it was. No, 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 100%. That's what it is. So, like, last year, but I remember, like, even last year, I was like, you know what it is? Now you need to turn that 15, 20-minute cameo into, like, 40, 50 minutes. Turn that 40, 50 minutes into 60, 70, and then we're talking. The problem mm. is that this year... He's played week in, week out. And for me, I now look at Garnacho and think, unless somebody takes you aside and humbles you, because I'll, I'll be so honest in it, like, sometimes you need to be humbled in life, yeah? Like, unless someone sits you aside and says to you, listen, I know you're starting week in, week out. I know you're playing 90 minutes. Like, you've got Rashford getting subbed off before you. Mm. You're getting all of this attention, all of this and all of that. Until somebody sits down and tells them, listen, you're 19, but you're not the complete package. Mm. You still need to work on your game. You still need to prioritize improving your overall game. Just be, like, here's the problem. Just because you start for Man United, it doesn't mean you're good. If you start mm -hmm. for Manchester City, you're good. In whichever way, you might be good in terms of IQ. You might be good in terms of technical ability. You might just be good for physicality because you provide that outlook. But there is a reason why you start. Man United are not on that stage. We've got players that start that are not good. So mm -hmm. don't think because you put on a Man United shirt that you are this like complete package. That's probably the best advice I would give to like Oganacho, which is last year you played a team game. I'll be honest, last year I liked it because I was like, the one thing you provided for me last year, which no other winger provided for us was you were willing to take that gamble and go both ways. You'd either go down the outside like he did against CE and put the cross in or you'd cut in and have a strike on goal. But the thing is, you knew when to do it. And I actually think it was because he was a young player. He was eager to impress. He wasn't willing to take that risk because he's thinking, yo, like, I can't fuck up or else I'm going to get put back on the bench. This year, that's not the case. He can mm. stink it out and start. If you're in that position, bro, you're getting away with murder. So you can shoot from mm. the halfway line and know next week against Everton, I'm starting. That's the problem. Isn't it? But that's just Man United, which is young players get comfortable at a young age. When they get comfortable, they don't prioritize their careers anymore. Like real talk, Rashford. Rashford's 26 years of age. Yeah. In my opinion, Rashford should be a way better player than what he is at the moment. I'm not saying but this, but this is my point. But this is my point, Haj. I think, yeah. If we actually actually let, let's let's stick to two facts, yeah. Let's get up Marcus Rashford's um numbers in it. Because you know what it is? What I realized with um Marcus Rashford, yeah, is that. Whether people like it or not, yeah, Marcus Rashford is a is a 15 goals in all competitions player. That's what he is, you know. But because he's had some purple patches in his career, people seem to think that he's better than he is, bro. Because look at this. Premier League seasons, yeah. Marcus Rashford, first season, five goals. Second season, five goals. Third season, seven. Fourth season, ten. Um, fifth season, 17. In the, this is Premier League, yeah? 17 and 31. Then 11 again. Then 4. Then 17 again. Now he's on 6, bro. Bro, this brother, yeah, is really, at best, a 10 goals a season Premier League player. That's what he is. That's what his averages are telling you. 5, 5, 7, 10, 17, 11, 4, 17, 6. That's what it's telling you, bro. But people have overrated this Brer because he has purple patches. But really, he's not that guy. 
Let's go into the Champions League. We got three goals, two goals, six goals, one, zero. Okay. EFL Cup, one, two, four, one, six, zero. This is what I'm saying. It's one, two, da, da, da. bro. The Brez never been a consistent goal scorer in any competition, bro. Like in the Europa League, he averages about two goals. Like, bro, this is what he is. But people have it in their head that he's meant to be more than that, Hajj. He's not. He's a 10 Premier League goals a season player. Like, like I said in 2019, he's a Crystal Palace player. I said it. A man got on to me, but that's what he is. 10 goals a season. That's not Man United starting. 10 goals a season in attack. That's not Man you know, United level footballer, bro. But do you know what it is? The reason why he gets the backing, like besides being from the academy, Manchester born and raised, is because when you look at Rashford, ever since he popped onto the scene, mm. how many players in this team were averaging more than the 10 goals a season? Not many. Sure. No. That's that's what's giving him this leeway, fam. And that's why I always say, like, I'm like, fam, our standards as fans have dropped off beyond belief because it's like, if he was playing in a team where he was putting up 10, but the nine was putting up 20, the other mm. midfielder was putting up 10, 12, then you've got the midfielders chipping in with five, six, the other winger scoring about eight, nine. You'd look at him and be like, fam, like, what's 10? Like, what? What is 10 when you bear in mind that you do come with a lot of deficiencies? Like, mm. if, if you're getting me 10, like, let's just, for example, yeah, Phil Foden is on 11. I think this is his second season he hits double digits, yeah? But I guarantee mm. you, even if Foden finished season on eight, I don't think any City fan would look at him and be like, yo, like, step it up. They'll be like, listen, even though you scored eight, you still helped us out in so many different ways. You mm -hmm. helped us out in so many different ways. I've always said with Rashford, the output, is not high enough for you to accept his flaws. No. The problem is nobody gets higher than his output. So to Man United fans, he is the savior. And that's why they always turn around and like say to me, where would we be without his 17 league goals? I'm playing that fam, not that far behind, you know? Like we, we, <laughs> we, bro, we won't be that. You think those 17 goals are going to relegate me, fam? They won't. Mm. So, but Hajj, but this is why player. for players like him, for players like Garnacho, when people say, yeah, our rants, who, what would you do? What would you do, bro? When you raise the level of the team around these guys, they'll see themselves out. Cracks begin to show. Yeah, they'll see themselves out. Because like you said, when people are outperforming these guys, you can't justify playing them anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? Garnacho's on five Premier League goals, bro, in more than 25 starts. Like, one in five. That's not good enough. To mask your deficiencies It's not It's not at all Like man are celebrating appearances now Someone said oh he's played He's started 24 mm. games in a row So what bro What have you contributed in those games Absolutely nothing You're not good enough I don't care about your age Every season we go in yeah There's a certain number of trophies to be played for That's it That's what football's about We're not a development club we are not that. We're not Southampton. We don't bring players through, develop them and sell them on for profit. That's not That's not our mantra. It's if you're good enough, you're old enough. If you're not good enough, then Salip Ferguson would play you in the League Cup. And then if you still weren't good enough, then we send you out on loan somewhere. Then you come back and then maybe we keep you, maybe we don't. This Man United thing where oh, they're from the youth team, oh, they're only X, Y, Z years old. Who gives an actual fuck about that? Are you good enough to get us to where we want to get to? Yes or no? If the answer is no, then you do one. Then you do one. And there's no hard feelings. There's some very good players that have been let go by this football club and they've gone on to have decent careers, but they weren't good enough to be here. We need to get mm. back to that. Until we start treating this club the way we should be treating it, we can't really chat to no one. And this was the conversation I was having the other day. I told you, man, when I went out to eat for my brother's birthday and I said, yo, Garnacho's trash. Man was like, oh, you can't say he's trash. I can say he's trash because at the end of the day, yeah, this is elite sport. You compare players playing elite sport to what the bar is. It's just like when man watch basketball and they'll say certain men are shit. 
Yeah, cool. They might go to the local park and they might be better than some of the pickup players. But, bro, you're shit compared to everyone else. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And this is what it is. When I compare this brother to the likes of the Pedro Netos and all these other guys that are playing in attacking areas in the Premier League that are at lesser clubs than us, when I compare him to players that are playing at Luton that he couldn't displace, how are we saying that man's a good footballer but he won't start for Luton? But he's a Man United player. How does that make sense? If he wouldn't start for Luton, you're not good enough to be even on the bench at Man United. And we need to stop championing these dead players. We need to stop doing it because we've done very, very well at reducing the expectations at this football club. Even this manager having the gall to talk about, oh, fifth place gets us Champions League. So what, you've written off the top four already, Emre, in March? 